Would there be any way to put in a uh, I can't do it on that. a concern regarding any and all providers for text message specifically? I can put it in the notations, but like I said, I can't. I don't know. Because, yeah, I, I mean, made a call, left a voicemail, I think. I, I believe that was successful. And then, what is your, the last word, your phone number is... Uh, it's my uncle's number, 9888. Okay, that's that number? No, no, no. Okay, I need a that, that, number. That's my uncle's number. Okay. Oh. So uh, a code that? for what? Verification code. Oh, here. Yes, give well, me a second. I can only send it to that number. I can't send it to any other number. Hold on. 620-833-4303. Yeah, it's not going to let me send it to that number. Oh, has to go to... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So what I did is I put in a complaint in mm -hmm. regards to your experience at the ATM. This gets overlooked by our back office, mm -hmm. and then they'll put a ticket in so they can service the ATM to see why the ATM got stuck, and then... Well, it, it didn't get stuck. It, it didn't get stuck. It swallowed the card. And didn't return it back to you. It, it swallowed the card, not regurgitated. Mm -hmm. it, it ate it. And then it swallowed it. Okay. Because it put the error message going, sorry for the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. And then after it swallowed the card and cleared the port, machine rebooted. Okay. So I think the machine, it, I mean, it seems to it because it was ready okay. and waiting for the next customer. Because I used the driveway one. Right. Not the walk-up ATM. The, the ones outside. I used the driveway. Uh -huh. So... Walked up to the driveway one. There was no other car in the line. But if there was, I'd be using it. And so after my experience, it swallowed it, cleared the port, refreshed, ready and waiting for the next customer. Okay. So the machine, it didn't get stuck in the machine. Okay. It, the machine ate it. Right. And well, said. I put in a work order for it to, to come and look at the ATM. They okay. should be able to see that because they're able to track every transaction uh -huh. and everything that happened during the middle of the transaction. So they're going to see that. Uh -huh. What happens is when we put it when we put an order, eventually uh -huh. there's going to be a technician that's going to come in and they're going to service uh -huh. the ATM. Now, will my uncle get that report? Why your uncle? Because it's going to that number. You can't no, text no, no. this number. No. But that has nothing to do with Okay, so here. so no. what's the verification number that you're looking for? It's just so I can go ahead and go into your actual profile. So because I didn't have your phone number, because your phone number is not listed well, on your online banking on your account profile, I just have to go into the complaint saying that you came in and you did. You, you did a transaction. How do I ATM. follow up with this? Is there a reference number I can get? There's not a reference number because this is a, just a ticket on our end. Mm -hmm. But the machine, our machine, isn't working. Well, well, see, that's what I'm saying. Okay. The machine appears to be fully functional. Okay. But it, the machine captured your card. So in this exactly. Case, the, the reason that I captured your card, there's probably something that's going on with the ATM. That's exactly. That your card wasn't given back to you. So there's a ticket. Automatically, the moment I put it in, yeah. it read it and confiscated it. Okay, so that's that, the issue. So that has to be take, looked at. So, I mean, constantly referring it to the machine as right. the error when it's a quite obvious right. confiscation because it became readily available for the next customer. Right. So that so, has to be looked at. We don't service mm -hmm. our ATM, so we don't well, do anything see, in regards to the ATM. The ATM is not malfunctioning. That's, I mean, you doing this level of escalation is not really just addressing the query that I have. But what you can do, if you want to follow up with it too, there's a phone number on the ATM and I can show no, no, no. where it's at. See, obviously because the ATM is fully functioning. Right. But the if, bank. But during your transaction, it wasn't. So okay. obviously. So uh, my, my understanding is that because the ATM read it, there is something in the system that it's kind of like when you go and sit down restaurant and they bring it back to you and it's cut. The machine said cut it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, where else are they supposed to cut it after receiving that instruction, that order from the machine to do so? 
I mean, can I get the number from it? I mean, so me sitting here in front of you, branch manager. I'm not the branch manager. Sir. No? No. I just put in a complaint in okay. regards to your issue. Could I speak with the branch manager? Yeah, go ahead and have a seat in the lobby. Oh, and thank I you. Know, I, I, I'm I, in a meeting, so I don't know if she That's has... perfectly fine. I was waiting for the branch manager. Okay. That's uh Thank you, thank you.